welcome back to Polly's Ego Cast. This week it's a cooking week and we're going to make lots of delicious food. Well, not make lots, we're going to make some. We're going to make a dal using some red lentils and some vegetable stock. Uh, and uh, then you can stick whatever ingredients you want in it, really. Uh, my GoPro has just died, so I'll have to use this one. Hi! To show you all the ingredients. Right, so what we're going to do first is we're going to use one of these. Look, I'm a cameraman again. Uh, yeah, we're going to use one of them. One of these. And then we're going to make our... Uh, what do you call it? Spices. Spices, our paste, I suppose. So, grandma masala. Coriander. Paprika, because I put that in everything. Cumin seeds. Garlic. Uh, hot curry powder, bit of a cheat that, turmeric because it makes it a lovely colour, black peppercorns, and where is it? A thumb, 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 thumb of garlic, uh, ginger. So get your ginger, uh, get your foot pink up for you. So let's get the old ginger in there first. Cut it up into little chunks. You think you're getting fed now, do you, sassy? Well, you're not. Because you can't have ginger, it makes you very poorly. Make you very poorly. Cut that up quite small, because it's a bit hard to pound. And then... <coughs> you can't have garlic. Uh, you can't have any of this. It'll make you poorly. It's not garlic, it's ginger. Stop saying garlic. So we better put in some garlic. Polly's patented method of peeling garlic. To we'll drop it into here. Taking the top off this time. And you just shake that up. The longer you shake it up, the more peeled you go. It gets. Ah, I did one the other day, it was perfect. Completely and utterly peeled. Ooh! Ooh! Look in there. Ooh. Let's go in. Should we pull it out into there? <laughs> Look at that, some of it's actually peeled. That one. And that one. Uh, how many of these are we going to stick in, do you reckon? Five? Six? Five for now. You can never have enough hats, shoes, and the bags. That's what Pat said from Absolutely Fabulous said. I apply the same logic to garlic. You can never have enough garlic. Well, you probably can. Should have been born in France, really. Let's cut that up in the most dangerous way possible so all the children chop their own fingers off. Get that in there. Take your pounder out. Pounder, pounder. Pounder rice. Pounder lentils. We're not going to use pounder lentils, that would be ridiculously stupid. Okay. There's your garlic in there. Get yourself some of these little blighters, a few peppercorns in there, about a tablespoonful. About a tablespoon of curry powder. A tablespoon of paprika. Uh, a tablespoon of coriander. Half a tablespoon gram masala. Half a tablespoon turmeric. And smells gorgeous already. And then some cumin seeds. I like to use cumin seeds and not ground cumin because it tastes nice. Right, clean as you go along and then you won't have to uh, kill your grandma's mother. Right, let's pound these buggers. Give it. Ugh. You can't like because they don't last long. If you go into Aldi or other um, Supermarkets are available. Little, for instance. Jenny from Powder Cake may serve you if you happen to be in the Scottish areas. Can't remember which one she actually works in. Glasgow. Glasgow. Oh, one in Glasgow. So there's another one. Right! Well, that's looking absolutely delicious now. So. Right, so I've made this one quite rough because I quite like the idea of that. The guy there, don't try and leave me! I am your father. Right, let's 
scrape that off there and we'll put that to one side for now. Stick it over here, that's when we're going to use it next. Get rid of that. Right. Ingredients. 200 grams of split red dried lentils. Dried lentils. You don't make this with green lentils. I have no idea why. They might take longer to cook or something. Uh, we'll get 200 in there. That's lovely. And then that is a litre of hot water. And I've now misplaced my... <sighs> Life's so difficult when your brain doesn't work properly due to years and drug and alcohol abuse. Um, Alright, so then, put it underneath that. So, little stock cube into this. Let's see how it looks from here. Get it all down in there. Yeah. What do you reckon? Good man's town. Bit of Kid Capaccio on the stereo today. Very good band, check them out if you like. Give that a good stir. And then get your ingredients ready. In this one today, I shall be placing some fresh red pepper. Burr, you don't like red pepper, do you? Burr. Oh, there's a cat coming in now. Obsidian, my cat is about to come in. Let's introduce you to her. Oh. Nope, because she doesn't like the dog. She's done with one. Do you want a bit of pepper? Get it. Jump up. Get it. Shite. Right, and I'm going to put some mushrooms in. Little tiny mushrooms. And. Then me. I love, I love it. Frozen spinach. Doesn't quite taste as good as fresh spinach. You get loads more for your money and it's easy to keep, especially if you're on cooking because <laughs> you're lonely. <sighs> I'm not lonely. I like being up here. Right then, that's it. How simple is that? That's, well, that's not it, obviously, you can't eat that. Well, it's easy to get stuck in your teeth for a start. But if you'd like to accompany me over to the cooker, we'll get our cook on, baby. Right, so we stick in mushrooms and that. We'll probably turn that down a little bit now to a mediumish heat. Throw in your spinach, because that's not going to get sort of cooked down or anything until it's you know, quite warm. It'll probably melt while the actual thing is cooking. Right, and get some of your paste. Oh, oh yummy yummers. So I'd say stick about half that paste in there for now. And then simply spray it off. Get all them lovely flavours going. If you are steaming up a bit like that, then you probably need to turn it down a bit. Give it a couple of seconds until you can smell everything coming off it. It smells absolutely bloody lovely. Uh, don't fry your veg and that down too much because it is going to spend 15 20 minutes in water. I'm going to put a little bit of this stock in there just to get that paste is a bit dry because I don't put any smart sauce or anything in it. So I'm just going to get it moving around a bit, get it hot, and then. We're just going to throw in all of the lentils and give that a bit of a stir up too. And I'm going to turn the heat up a bit and I'm going to put in the rest of my paste. There's lovely big chunks of stuff in this. And while that's Cooking nicely. I'm gonna go let my dog back in. Alright. Got treats! Got treats! Where's your treats? That's exactly what I say. Oh wow. Nice, wasn't it? That's lovely and jubbly now. 
make sure you get oh it's starting to just starting to burn a little just starting to burn a little bit of that so let's let's get that water in as soon as possible so you've got a litre here of veggie stock just pour the lot in Mm, mm, a bit of a smell of singed garlic there, so sorry. Right then, so what we'll do now is we'll do the boop, 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 boop thing, and we'll come back in. Well, get it boiling. Once it starts to just get to that rolling boil, take it down to about three quarters of the heat. In fact, lower than that, take it down to the half of the heat and let it simmer. Come in every now and again, and give it a stir. Uh, I'll see you in 15 minutes. Okay then, while that's just finishing up there, just give it another stir. And take the Coca-Cola bottle off the dog. Or just shut the dog out, whatevs. Right, yeah, that's looking good over there. Yum, 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 yum. Uh, right, yeah, so, give me a sec. Right, so, just to recap, get all the usual spices, and garlic and ginger. So garlic, ginger, gram masala, paprika, uh, coriander seeds, if you've got them, if not, ground coriander, uh, and then cumin seeds, if you've got them, stick them in. And uh, a bit of uh, did I say paprika, did it? turmeric, uh, and curry powder. That should all be good. Oh, and black pepper. Get all that in, give it a skin, 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 skin. 200 grams lentils, red, dried, split. Then, I got distracted then because my cat just jumped off the roof and went past that window. <laughs> Uh, and then um, a litre of that stuff I can never remember the name of vegetable stock right so that will make enough for two proper hungry people and for not so hungry people get it on a spud get it served with rice do it as a dip whatever you like shall we uh, shall we shall we have a look super runny this one is quite runny, not quite a soup, not quite a broth, but then let me stick it in here like that, look, oh, ho, 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 ho. So, as you can see there, look at all that, that's how much we've got in that bowl, which is quite a lot, and there's probably about three times as much as that left in there as well, ho, 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 yummers. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Red lentil dal. Let's give it a little taste to make sure it's alright. You'll notice I didn't put any salt in it. And that's because there's shitloads of salt in your vegetable stock. But, it's up to you. Taste it when you're cooking it and that. Mmm. What's on? Oh, look at that. My cat's just come in to say to her as well. So shall I grab her? Oh, she's wet. There's a joke there. Hello. Bobby, do you want some dal? No? You go in there and get warm then. While I say goodbye to these people. Right, no idea what I'm doing next week. Uh, but it'll be summit. A note. Um, music, food, travel, all that. Hit the likes, subscribe. Do all that funky stuff. Check out my band, The Eye of the Dead. Check out other stuff by Blood for Bones and The Spangles. And, uh, yeah, might go surfing at the weekend. Show you a bit of that. All right, see you next time.